Aerial refueling is the process of transferring fuel from one aircraft, the tanker, to another, the receiver, during flight. It's a challenging but critical operation that has been around since the early days of aviation. In the 1920s and 30s, pilots used aerial refueling to help set flight endurance records. The initial techniques were basic and usually consisted of a fuel hose running between two aircraft. The hose would be captured by a passenger in the receiver aircraft and connected to its fuel tank. Then, in the 1930s, Alan Cobham, a British aviation pioneer, looked at ways to make air refueling more secure. Sir Alan Cobham has been working for many years on a system by which big airliners and flying boats can fill up with petrol after the takeoff. Cobham's first improvement came with a looped hose, a system that featured a grapple mechanism on the receiver. The United States Air Force was one of the early adopters of the looped hose system. Their propeller-driven transports were equipped as tankers, whilst bombers acted as the receivers. But the looped hose had a few drawbacks, including the need for both aircraft to be flying relatively slowly. So today, the two ways airplanes refuel in the air are the probe and drogue and the flying boom systems. The probe and drogue system requires the pilot in the receiver to control a long tube called the probe. The probe from the tanker has to perfectly fit into the receiver plane's drogue, which is a basket attached to the end of a hose deployed from the tanker. The flying boom system, however, puts the control in the hands of a boom operator that rides in the tanker. The operator controls the position of the boom, maneuvering it into the refueling receptacle of the receiving aircraft. Air forces around the world have a mix of the two systems depending on what aircraft they have. Tankers act as gas stations in the sky and are vital in most military operations, extending aircraft's range and endurance.